Welcome everybody. I actually made it a long time ago. I was helping out the uh, Unspoken Heroes earlier. Sorry about the vague part, but helping out a different group of people for a different, totally different set of areas that are not publicly available. And that's all I can say about that, just like my last live stream. So we're out here searching a different area um, to kind of broaden our surroundings. Areas that have not been searched that I, as far as I know. Um, I'm not going to give away our location just because it's an ongoing thing. I don't want people showing up. But I did make it. Sorry for the late response. Hopefully y'all can hear me all right. But. So. Thank y'all very much. Got a lot of setup to do. I got to focus on some stuff. And then might talk a little bit. But other than that, got a lot of water to search. Hopefully, the way I got this motor pitched for the best image, the way the current is and the wind, I'll be able to actually get some good propulsion. But I gotta have my motor pitched a good amount to, for the transducer to read right. If not, you're you're still scanning, but you're you're really on like one side. So there we go. Hey everybody, sorry the chat just now like loaded. I don't know what's up with that. Five foot deep, so that's good. And I'm not, I'm scanning, but I'm not scanning yet. I'm just getting everything set up. So 20 foot. And everything back that way in front of us is like private stuff, right? Or is that up? That's what it looks like. All right. Someone is getting married. I really wish I would have got my active captain to work, but I forgot I took the SD car out. I could have handed you the tablet yeah. and you could have seen what I'm looking at. Yeah. But I've yet to get it to going yet. All right, y'all. Sorry if I don't talk a lot. So for what I'm looking for on this side imaging and down down imaging, it's going to be a lot harder to spot as far as the size of it. I, mean, I could be looking for a barrel. I could be looking for a lot, a lot of different things, just depending on the circumstances. Hey everybody, hopefully you caught what I was saying, I won't be doing a whole lot of talking and a lot more focusing. Right now it's, what do we say, it's three foot, yeah, right where we're at. So I also got to be, I also got to be mindful of what we're approaching, like we just split, looks like a little sidewalk, something like that. 
or at least concrete, I should say. It was definitely concrete, going all the way across like a beam. Huh. But it looks like more like a sidewalk. Trying to find that happy medium of scanning out far enough and then not too far. So, especially with the current, you're going that way. Looks like we're on like a lake. Yeah, it does. It's like the maps are deceiving. And then that boat right there with their wake. By the time it gets to us, we'll make a bad reading, more than likely, which means I'll have to go over the, what we just went over whenever we get to bump them. Or rocking, I should say. But yeah, it's two foot right here. I got a good image on down imaging, so my transducer is set right. I'm oh, sorry, guys. There's the boat ramp. So I'm shooting off far enough. Some rocks. I'm going to adjust this real quick so you guys can kind of see what I'm looking at. Oh, well, I say that. That's a bad image. Sorry, y'all. I'm not really a YouTuber. Not sure if you guys can tell or not, but the wake is really uh, messing up yeah. a good reading. And then your ideal scan speed, that's gonna be a terrible image. So your ideal scan speed is gonna be at three mile an hour, give or take, depending on what kind of reading you're getting. We're going down current, so it's not gonna be as good of a reading, but, so this is down imaging right here, and the boat's rocking, so, I'm, so I apologize, it's not gonna be the best reading. So. Roughly three mile an hour, give or take, is what you want. Um, when I'm scanning for bigger objects, I like to scan it about three and a half. So this is side imaging at the top. This is your water column. So what you're seeing, that is like, uh, I don't wanna call it duckweed, but. So that's the bottom. And it's like, this is a nice, clean, grassy bottom. Like, I'm going too fast for that, but the current's also going that way. Now, this is pretty much the same spot I've already scanned, but I just want to do my due diligence and actually make sure I don't miss anything. So I'm getting a good reading that way. So if there's any like barrels or if you've seen like a stick figure or something like that. Where am I at? 2.8, so that's fine. Probably. 
make that a little bit narrower, but I'm not going to. Hey, everybody. I'm sorry if I don't talk a whole lot. I'm just wanting to focus, so. I didn't realize that bridge goes over the water over there. And I'm, I'm turning the boat around right now, so this is not gonna be clear, if that makes sense. So, the best reading, we're getting ready to go back into the current. So I'll get it right around. I'm happy with that, give or take. Try to keep the boat as straight as I can. Hopefully this time, no wake. So I can get a clearer reading. And then with the uh, current, if something wasn't like way down, I'd have to figure out what way the current's going for to like carry something. So a smidgen too fast, but you can see the uh, down imaging it is really smooth and clear. So I'm really looking for anything that's like barrel shaped or like a stick figure or something in a ball. I say a ball, but kind of like bent over, if that makes sense. There's the concrete I was talking about right there. Going a smidgen slow. pretty strong like when it, you can't tell as much now that we're out here but when I I put the trailer in really deep so I can because my bunks are up and down and it instantly started pushing the boat off the trailer so I'm really loving liking the reading I'm getting on down imaging side imaging is great it's a nice clean bottom That is the boat ramp right there. And you don't see a lot of fish on this. If you see fish on this, it's because there's a lot. So I forget, I don't have the fish turned off, but I, the way my settings are is to find structure for the most part. So anything man-made and like basically down imaging. So you see the grass, the bottom. But I don't really like to see fish. Yeah, I'm doing a back and forth grid. I know you can't really see that, but I'm going over. If I was looking for a car, I would have already done, like called the, I wouldn't have scanned like I was scanning. I would have done like a 70 foot out, but I'm doing a more narrower scan because I do not want to miss anything. So yeah, I'm really overdoing it in a sense, like as far as the searches, like I've already technically scanned this but I don't want to miss anything. Because you could be looking at one reading and then come back and be like, what's that? And you've already went over that spot. So I don't want to miss anything. And that's the boat ramp right there. And that's the end of the boat ramp. That's part of the boat ramp. mile an hour if the water 64 degrees here it's so shallow I should have brought a buoy to throw in just to see where the currents at like over here it's not pushing like it was or at least it doesn't feel like it Pushing that way around the bend. Oh yeah, 
That's what I get, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I did that with Ronnie. Because <laughs> it was a stop sign. That could have been a lot worse. So there's a structure. Good thing we're going slow. Speed check. Yep. Whiplash. So I get so dialed in on reading sonar. <laughs> it's not good. Proper, uh, yeah, that's taking it that way. And it's pushing, if you look at the top, I don't know if this is the wind or what, but it's pushing it this way. So the current. Not for sure why all of a sudden I have prop wash, but I do. That right there is that orange pole. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There's an orange pole behind us that I hit just to be. 100% honest, that's what that was because I was watching the sonar. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah. That has a light up there, but still can't believe I hit that. Should have had motors insurance. <laughs> God, Lord. So I don't know why I didn't have any prop wash on my left side. Now all of a sudden I do. But it's still not interfering with my image. Not too terribly bad, it's just putting in the water column. So on your uh, side imaging, you had a water the water column, which is black. And then it should be black, right? Like solid black because it's the water column. If your prop's spinning and it's interfering with your transducer, it'll throw, it'll show like a, a wishy-washy looking color, like the bottom, but it's water, like prop, like the thrust, like wash from the prop, which I didn't have any when we first started, but I think after, after we hit that, <laughs> it started. I could be wrong on when it did it, but anyway, I would like to say it's the first thing I ever hit, but it's not. Well, it's because you get. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. It's probably Focus. worse than being on your phone. Because <laughs> yeah. you're, I mean, you're looking at all the little grain, all the details. Don't vote in text. Don't, don't vote in so <laughs> Yeah. So I'm thinking, because you can feel the, cur the wake yeah. and the current now pushing us. If someone were to dump something off of this, I think we would start pushing it that way. Yeah back and it could make it go that way so unless it was anchored down or something i'm not trying to be dark cold or i would if you're going to do that then you probably do it way up better right at the tip yeah that way you, it away from the come back to the well if you know i mean yeah that way so this is 
what we hit. I'll just be honest. I was focusing on this. And you can just out to my side over there. I like Garmin because land, water, and uh, yeah, aviation. Make sure I don't hit nothing else. Some grass. Yeah, it does kind of. Yeah, we're in two foot of water. Two foot? Yep. Way out here? Yep. Wow. Which I need to go back over what we all just went over just because I was backed out of the screen. Well, I guess it would be a good test. So I'm not scanning right now. I'm just trying to see what this bin's doing because the current is coming from that way. I don't know if you guys can see me or not, but it's pushing it, everything kind of this way. Yeah, for some reason it's like bringing, bringing us back. So I'm just trying to see where the current's going. But I gotta rescan this little section, even though it's really shallow, because it's backed out of the screen. It's a lot shallower than what I thought. Is that an animal? Where? Is that a tree? That's a tree. It's this tree, tree sticking out. Those are the things you don't want to hit. Look like. So. Woo. Four foot of water. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm getting my camera out of the way just so I can see the side imaging or the head unit a little bit better. I'm gonna see how deep this is first before I go in here scanning like how I normally would. It's three foot but there's a lot of stuff sticking out. Two foot. Yeah. Two yeah. This is shallow, super shallow. I can't imagine anybody putting anything over here. But if you did, is this flooded? Is that what it is? I'm super shallow, like almost dangerously shallow. Like it, it's flooded. That's what I'm thinking. Like at least part of it. Like there probably wouldn't be water over here, is my guess. Yeah, and that's why there's all that river raft up there. Water would take you. This section would be good for like a remote control boat with a transducer on it. It's so shallow. And no one searched here before that I know of. At least from the information that I have. Yeah. I don't like this. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't like that. Do you want me to push it away with? You're good. So there's a log sticking out, and that's what I don't want to hit. Mess up the prop and all kinds of stuff. It's super shallow. Yeah, unless weighted down. That's the thing, I go off all the variables, so. Definitely don't want to hit that. Yeah, Too many things sticking up. I mean, I hit a pole that was sticking up out of the water, so there ain't no telling what I'll hit. Too 
hard on this thing. I miss my turn in all the time. In turn? Yeah, I miss my turn. Yeah, that's like <laughs> running off the exit ramp. Yeah. <laughs> Going too late to cross traffic. Hit your exit after you came. <laughs> so I am curious. Look at white lines. I know, man. As long as it doesn't get too shallow. I'm going way too slow to be scanning. That's a tree. Like there's like two or three logs over there sticking up. So I'm gonna check the depth going through here. And if it's good, then I'll scan the speed I'm supposed to be at coming back. I just got to be careful not to hit anything else. Bridges either get deeper or shallower. That'd be a weird spot if you're trying to get to the dark, I guess, but. I'm gonna check this transducer to make sure I didn't flip it up or hit something weird or something like that. It's just weird I start off with no prop wash and then now there's prop wash. I'm gonna speed up and do about three through this just to get a good reading. Maybe. There we Right now, here, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. This is more tedious on my end. Sorry, the camera's all over the place. There's a bridge, which would be a weird spot if you had other activity. You have to stop in the middle of the road. So here is the bridge, left and right. So we were, this is what we, we just went past. So just looking for anything that sticks out. So the bridge, anything outside of that.
there's some fish right there. So that's what the size of the fish are. That's not a fish. Those right there hovering in the water column, those are fish. What kind of fish? No idea. But they're fish. Down at the end. Yeah. All right. It's almost like it's. So there's nothing on that side. But there is like a little bit of stuff over here. I just want to do my due diligence and scan it again. There's a mosquito. The depth over here just changes. What is it right now? Eight foot, almost nine foot. Oh, yeah. So I started off with no prop wash. That's what that is right there. And now there's prop wash. So I went from having a beautiful image, which it's still decent, but I just don't like having it in there. <laughs> the mosquitoes are going with the boat. There's a tire. And then as I'm turning, I just turn the boat. So when I turn, it's not going to be that good of an image. I'm going to wait to play back anything, but, which I'm going to have to redo this because I'm not going fast enough. But I'm still getting a, a decent image for what it is. So I'll just speed up on the way back. The visuals now, someone said. Do what? They must have started late or something. Or at 6 p.m. And then now we're in three foot of water. And there's a log, which is that, that way. It just ended, they said, the visual. Don't want to get that. I got a neutral. That's the log. So I was turning and the log is there, but it stretched it. That's what we're over. And then there's a log over there. So I'm trying to get the boat straight. Actually, I'm going to stay right here. And then get up to my normal speed. So this is all from turning. or not. Make sure I don't hit nothing. So that's what we're scanning. stuff in there.
how, dude. I wonder how many cars are. How deep is it right here? Uh, I'll tell you in a minute. Cause that boat is so close to the ocean. Almost looks like a tire, but it's sticking up instead of down, which is weird. So, which I split it because on the left hand side of the, that's weird. Out of everything there, that's the only thing I'm not 100% sure what it was. This prop wash is annoying me. It's probably the pitch of the motor. Maybe. Well, we're in, we were in seven foot of water back there. All right, I am gonna adjust this just to see if it goes away. Uh, you, this will hold a car. Yeah. Five foot will hold a car. Really? I found an S10 in from five foot to seven foot of water. Really? So the obviously the back of the, the bed was in shallower water, and yeah. then the cab, which S10 is not that big, but it was from it went from five foot to seven foot, and that was a little pond, like a wow. old coal mine pond thing, but it was super shallow. That's like overkill, so we'll see. I probably won't even get that much thrust. Oh yeah, that's way too much. It's right. gonna be as good as it's gonna get. Sorry, I was adjusting the motor. Oh God, not what I want to do. Oh. We drift a little bit more than I thought. <clears throat> this prop wash is annoying me. I want to see how many times I say that. In the water column, it's not off to the, it's not, it's not in, 
like on the bottom. It's just in the water column, so you see it. It's yellow or crayfish color. It's just annoying because when I was in the Mississippi up in Moline, it was super clear, no prop wash, and the current was crazy, like compared to what this is. And all of a sudden, there's no current. I'm not having to hardly give it any throttle, and there's prop wash for whatever reason. Yeah, I gotta be careful coming through here. There's so many trees. Yeah. Oh, yeah, super. It's not working out how I want. So, a bunch of trees. All like that sticking out. So, there's trees there. Which is not safe to come through here going three mile an hour on a boat. It is between the front of the boat and the prop and all that. This would be perfect for a remote control little sonar. But I don't, unless he stopped in the, I mean, there's no telling. But the current, and there's really not a current over here though. What? Maybe. That's weird. Dude, I don't know. Let me uh, see if I can get us up in there. It looks like one of the barge life vests, but not 100% sure. Just gotta make sure I don't hit no trees. I'm not sticking out over there. Three foot. I got it in neutral because it's getting ready to get super shallow. Sorry guys, I'm gonna turn the camera. Uh, looks like a flag or something. Oh, is this a flag? Yeah. Okay. Is that plastic? You want to try to grab or you're going to leave it? No. I don't... Yeah, I don't see anything in it. Plus it's sticking out, so... Yeah. If it was, then... Yeah. There would be no question. Well, there's a lot of debris over here. That's one foot of water. 1.7. Dick or something. Some of this shit looks like a little animal popping out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, I keep forgetting to get binoculars, so I don't have to get so close to stuff. Like when I saw some animal with a beak close to stuff. It's four foot, but there's so much stuff sticking out, I can't scan that right without turning and having to worry about like, just things sticking out in front of CJ right there. You can make a lot of money off this river rats all up and down here. Man. The tote. I definitely need to figure out a little device to scan little stuff like this. Thank you, 3AM Forge. Thank you, buddy. 
He is the only moderator I have right now. I don't know if I should have said that, but I got to go through. I got the emails from everybody. I got to go through on the computer and actually do it. Right now, I'm more or less just doing a visual because too much stuff sticking out. And then it gets shallower. Which, from that point... That's two foot of water. I hate talking dark. It wasn't like weighted down. I can't mute, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Or something that was like this, but I think it was tree or something. That's the only thing that I've seen like that. I don't know what all that is. That's weird. I've never seen anything like that. Not together. It's like a, oh, there's a bunch of fish. They're, they must be eating off whatever that is. Like a bunch of them, like, I don't know what it is. Like vegetation, yeah. but big. I'm going a smidgen too slow, but I'm also trying not to crash the boat. I'm gonna go back the exact same way we were and just see if I can get that to show up again. Alright, says so because following the point just to the left.
Jesus is vibrating. Not your side, but my side. The first one, yep, go ahead and hit that. And then the third one, yep. That way we got lights. I'm gonna get us down there on the other end before it gets dark yeah. and then scan that area because I don't know this water because I don't want to come up or hit anything I should say Thank you, 3 a.m. Forge. Big old, oh no, that's just a shelf. CJ will probably never get on the boat with me again. Five seconds in, you got whiplash. I still went with my best friend and we ran into a fire hydrant. No. the cornfield. What? Ball hogs. Well, that's just as bad. Cornfield, open, open water. That's all the same. Whatever, however they got the, I mean, I've seen the concrete that it's anchored in. But I mean, it didn't budge <laughs> at all. There's a ball of fish back there. How deep is it right here? 14 foot. Nice clean bottom out here. Lots of fish. Fourteen foot. So, 
If anybody's just now tuning in, this prop wash right there, I know I've said that a million times, is not supposed to be there. This is a very skinny boat, and I have, you can't put the transducer too far to the outside of the boat, or else it'll have a turbulence, which will be worse than that. So I got the motor pitched up, but it comes and goes, it's not always there. It wasn't there when we first started, I don't believe, and then now it's there. I'm sure anybody that runs sonar is gonna be like, you got a bunch of prop wash. I'm like, trust me, I know. <laughs> there are always experts out there. Yeah, there's going to be somebody yeah. somewhere to say something about it. Yeah. And then now it kind of it dissipated just a smidgen. Yeah. My son orders door dash and he told me this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, that's where that dock is over there. Should be it. Huh. Uh, I just had well, I had parties this morning. I don't know where the weight comes from because we're. I was just wondering. I was like, it's, did... It comes out of nowhere. Unless it's from the wind. It wasn't from us. So now we're rocking like really good. So it's not going to be the best image. So what I meant by my boat's good, but it's not a wide bottom. So you feel the any little movement. Hey, I'll take this over my Arab boat any day as far as set up and actually being able to get on the water and search. I'm probably either from the rock and miss what I was looking at coming back or drifted more than what I thought. Whatever it was, I split. It looked pretty big. But they were just like, it doesn't look like what I think it should look like. But there's, there's like a ball and then three outlines that I didn't like, or else I would have said no. So, but with the, we were rocking, it probably went over it. Plus the wind is, was apparently pushing us that way a little bit. So I think I went back far enough. Yeah. Just trying to get us to the other spot. If you get too cold, let me know. Yeah, it would have been pushing us that way as we went.
I think this is definitely a good spot. Like it wasn't on my radar. Because if you look, like when I looked on the map, I just thought it was a lake. If you don't, if I didn't look in to see what it's called. And we're searching, it's not, I guess it is a lake slash river. So we all look at areas that have been searched, like numerous, numerous times. So we went outside the box, or outside the, the normal radius. Just to start branching out because everything else has been searched so many times. Busby should be around here somewhere. And I'm not going to be doing an overnight search, depending on how late we're here. I know there's another spot we want to check. I don't know what time everything technically closes. Depending on where I'm going to get with everybody and talk to it off live, obviously. See, we're going to go to the next location and then what they want to search tomorrow. And depending on what we search tomorrow, I'm going to get, get up really early. So. And when I, when I say really early, uh, depending on what the game plan is, it just really just depends on what body of water we're going to search. But if it's the river, then I'm going to get a head start and get get up at 4 or 5 in the morning and get to work working at it. I just don't want to navigate and then hit something. Plus, I know... A lot of people at boat ramps at nighttime have had their vehicles broke into. And I'm not trying to be about that. Seems like everything's kind of getting pushed up, up against here. So I'm going to go back a ways and then scan. Yeah, everything looks like it's getting kind of brought in here. And this sonar goes, if I remember right, don't quote me on this, I'm sure I get it wrong, but I would never search out that far. I believe it's 200 feet out and 200 feet down, I think. But I would never use it to that extreme because the image would be so small. Like I would have to have a TV to tell you what it was. Like I could be looking at a car if I was looking at 200 feet and it would be big. I mean, small. The image would be very small. So right now, I'm not... Like, I'm still scanning, but I'm setting myself up to come around. And it seems like everything's getting pushed over that way to do a scan. And that's five foot. Yeah, everything's getting pushed this way and then over, so. Next time, I'll get my white buoys out and we'll throw them in and just see.
Yeah, I, th I feel like it would be, especially floating. Like after the first float. I mean, that's what I would think anyway. Yeah. See that? This is what's dangerous about this. I didn't even see that. I was going right along. The depth wasn't terrible. It was just sticking out. You tear up your motor, tear up your boat, the prop, everything. So I'm going to put it in neutral. I don't know how. Well, there it is right there. So just for size reference. Oh, yeah. It's pretty big. I split it. Is it going across? It's going to. Whoa. Just changed for nighttime. Which. Nope. It's not Display. Get my brightness turned up. It got way too dark for me. That on auto it usually does pretty good. The can. Yep. going too slow for what I really want to go but there's a lot of stuff sticking out turning so the image is going to get distorted.
previously. Lots of tires, you know, tree, it's either tires or tree stumps. I think those are tree stumps. Those can't be all tires. Definitely have to go back over that several times. Well, so much stuff riddled, yeah. like a bunch. got firewood burn I think or it's the motor it's not the motor yeah there's some pretty nice houses Okay, so those are like tree stumps, and then the rest are tires. If those are all tires, I've never seen that many tires before in my life. Not, some of them are holes. Make sure I don't run over nothing over here. Crooked. It's just crazy how much trash is. Put a bunch of trash. Now I'm turning. Yeah, your mind definitely plays tricks on you. Sometimes you see what you want to see and you'll make stuff out to be something and it's nothing if you really start reading too much into it. You have to like really learn to trust yourself and trust the equipment and not I mean, There's so much stuff over there, it's not even funny. It's too much, too much, there we go.
The front light's on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Want to make sure they weren't working for some reason. I got a flashlight, but oh wow, thirty foot. Which means I have to change my scan settings once we come back this way. I was combing through all the debris and stuff that was on that side, so to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I agree. Phones. I really think that wakes come in combination of the current and then the wind. 34 foot. Which I'm leaving my settings so we get back over here because I pulled up, as you guys could see, I was combing through all that debris that was on that side. So don't, that's nothing right now. So 30 foot, which means I'm gonna have to scan at like 50 foot. There we go. It dropped off like this. We're in seven foot now. Must be the channel or something. Definitely a lot of different directions. More wake. Yeah, that's a big drop. Back in the debris field. Which I combed through that. Thanks for going with, because you're by yourself, you start talking to yourself, and you're out here. And I always try to get like anybody to go. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes it. I know, I do too, but nobody comes. I got people that say, oh yeah, I got three friends. They're like, man, we love what you do. You ever just let us know? Nothing. Which I get it, everybody knows what it but every time I've went, which I have one friend, he felt it for me. He said, do I have to get on the boat? And I was like, well, I mean, you don't, I was like, you don't have to. He said, I'm not getting on no boat. He said, water? He said, I'd be no good. Cause I'd be... He said, I'd stay on land. Oh, here we go again with that. I don't know why it does that. Wow, there's a hole there. And we're rocking. Wow. Hope we don't sink. Wow. Dude, that's getting close to the <laughs> Sorry, y'all. So one of the downfalls of the little boat, <laughs> the wake, so I gotta redo this scan. The wake, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but the, luckily I've got a 1200 gallon an hour bilge pump, which ain't gonna do a lot of good, but it'll be better than nothing. So when it gets to, when you're being mindful, if you know wake's coming, you gotta put this size boat into the wake because it didn't come up over the front of the boat but it was would have it was getting there so so i gotta redo that scan jesus busby that was crazy busby be like i don't know they went in and ne never, never came out that wouldn't be good don't do this to me you better stay I hate it when it does that. It's literally like a page <laughs> It's like, where is it coming? 
Yeah, the, I think it was a wake boat. Or, uh, hands are apparently getting cold. Stay. I don't know why my down imaging... I've got everything figured out on this that I like. Except for my down imaging, will, I'll, it'll go from. There we go. Stay. It's not going to. No, it stayed, I guess. So this ain't doing what I wanted to do. Alright, so it was 30 something foot. Starting to think the channel is just to the right of us now. Okay, 17 foot, 18 foot. But I know it was deeper. There we go. 30 foot, and my down image is gonna make me mad. All right, if it doesn't on auto, it's fine. If it stays that way. There we go. Now I understand. Apparently it was stuck on manual zoom. So we'll scan all that when we come back. I was trying to meet, go to this circle. Yeah, next time anything remotely like that helps me, just be like, or help. Does that, just be like, hey, be like we're about to sink. <laughs> just tell, get my, I, I just get, like just this, get my just attention. Get Cause when I get to looking at this, I get tunnel vision. I'd be like, yo, turn the boat. Rocking, yeah. Man, well, by the time I looked, it was already probably rocking five, six times. Yeah. I seen the water. Like that's not good. This is like a clean bottom. Fish. Lots of fish. Is it a full moon? No. It just looks Behind the clouds, this battery has never gotten down to 12.3 volts. It's usually cruising at 13, 14 volts. So that'll be something to keep an eye on. I might have like a loose cable or something. It drops any lower than 12.3 volts, y'all. Get my attention so I can fix it before it's a problem. It's holding at 12.3 volts, but. Oh, now we're in four foot of water.
going to check something out. Kick that tire this way. I just don't want to get too much weight on one side. I gotta check the terminal, to make sure it didn't come loose on the way down. All right, it's gonna be weird, but I'm just gonna reach in there. Probably just the battery. Horse, because we're not. We are going to go not fast, but cruise for a second to see if I can get this voltage back up before it is an issue. Let me get the motor down. I'll just be 100% honest. It's, an, it's not a marine grade battery. <laughs> and it's been used and abused. So I'm gonna see if I get the alternator to charge it up a little bit. And then we'll go back to the point that we were at over here. You guys can see that. You got all your camera stuff? I'm just trying to get the voltage back up. coming back up probably because I went straight out last time when I was up in Moline I used to charge my drone batteries while I was driving around that's probably why it's because it's usually at like four like it's usually like 14 volts
And no, we were only going so fast because I was trying to get the battery charged up a little bit before it dropped below 12 volts because we quit running the sonar, the lights, and everything. I didn't get out here. I didn't want to get out here and have to stop scanning when we just made it over to this other point. Now it's chilly. Time to get the flashlight out. I guess it's just going to ride at 12.3 volts. This is that park, isn't it? Or the spot? Yeah, this is the one way, the way down, I think. Yeah, 12.2 volts. Yeah, 2.7 foot. Try not to run it in anything. Wow, it looks bright on your guy's screen. Yeah, I know. It looks a <laughs> it lot looks brighter. Bright. It looks super bright. Like it's not even nighttime here. <laughs> They're probably like, what are they talking about? But in real life, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty dark here. Yeah, it's pretty dark. 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 Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff sticking out. I'm going to stop and dim this now, now that I got it bright. That way I'm not blinded. That way I actually like to see the water. That's not bad. Two foot. Yeah, I definitely got to get a marine battery. They're just expensive. Now it's at 12.4 volts. Probably just took that long for it to... Plus it's a little colder. Whoa! I didn't even see that. Yeah, that would... Three foot. So I'm not being able to go as fast as I want, but. Ducks. What sucks is, when it's nighttime, you can see the sonar like perfect, yeah. but then you can't see the water unless you just got some big old bright lights. 
Which I got enough lights for like navigating open water, but not this cold. Would it help if you had like a bunch going around your boat? Yeah, like especially in the front. Yeah, yeah probably. Like the, uh, like those are just little, like nav lights to kind of help you, but just from that point on, yeah. Be like, I don't know if I would want to do white or red or what would help. Three foot. Which, yeah, stuff sticking up. Which we're still going 2.5, so I don't. Uh, if I see something, if I see something that is questionable, where I'm not for sure, I'll dive it. But if I see something to where I'm 90% sure, I will call the police immediately. But I do not like to tie up resources if I say, hey, I got something, and it ends, ends up being like, a, like, not a stick, but a tree in the shape that I'm looking for. Like a very small tree. Like basically, branches if anybody is in chat this is a sad question I've been about around boats all my life my grandpa always didn't do things how they're supposed to be done if anyone is in chat and knows the white anchor light on a boat and then you got your red and green nav lights, navigation lights in the front. Is the anchor light supposed to be on when you're navigating, like when the boat is moving? If anybody knows that question, that would be great, because then rewire some stuff. It's kind of almost blinding me, in a sense. I could have swore I read something where it Literally, it's an anchor light for when you're anchored. But most of the time I see boats and it's on. I'm getting no and yes. Yeah, it's all dark now. Yeah, let me put you up in the sky. There you go. It's can actually see something. A lot of holes. Not a lot of holes. A couple holes. Some fish. Thank you. If if it says yes, if moving, so the yes in some places it's a law. Okay, so it's a, getting shallower. All right, I'll turn. I guess because stuff the current and the stuff's not like being pushed in over here. This bottom over here is like clear compared to the other side. All three should be on. Thank you guys and gals very, very much. It was like a confusing question that I had looked up before and couldn't figure out the straight answer. And I actually have a boater safety card for the state of Illinois. But that was over 17, 18 years ago. moving now but that's what over here yeah we're like in a cove but this is what the bottom has looked like over here so 
for whatever reason it's deeper over here and then it gets like two foot or three foot back coming in but over here is like super clean like i don't even see tires i don't see no tree stumps so pretty much everything that we we're seeing on the other side is probably being pushed in from the current my guess My grandpa was still alive, he'd love this. Yeah. He'd operate the boat. I could just look at the sonar. <laughs> He'd be like, You're gonna put put fuel in the boat? I was like, Yeah. Um, is there alligators in this part of Tennessee? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to make it fun. I saw some flashing eyes at but it. it's like stick like, why am I going towards it? Uh, kind of that? It's like sticking up out of the water. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the I, eyes or not, but I'm just gonna say I've watched swamp people too much. We're gonna continue over this way. We got distracted. No gators, no alligators. Well, that's good. I know there's like a an article that I'd read parts of Tennessee have alligators. I don't know if it's real or fake. Yeah. I have no idea. It's like super clear over here. Let me get back. Try to get over along there. So we scan back. Just don't know how deep it's gonna be. Water moccasins. Yeah. I was searching a pond once and my whole family was like, there's a big old snake. And I said, next time you see something, don't say nothing. Because I don't want to know and I have to search it. So because the whole time that's what I'm gonna be thinking about now. can't imagine anything being put in over yeah. up in here. I think it would be on the other side, but. Yeah. Especially if you know this. Yeah, the area. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see nothing. I don't even see trees. Well, back on when we came in, I did, but. Gars are uh, alligator gar, and then the other name. I can't think of the other name. I know the name because they're, uh, I think it's the state fish of one of the states. Oh, three foot. The flashlight's like. It helps, but then it blinds you. Fish are jumping.
Is it raining? Or is that the reflection? Eight oh five PM. Is that what time it is? Yeah. All right. Make sure I don't need none of that stuff. Yeah, if you see anything, just scream. Like in front of us. Well, I'm not going three mile an hour, even though that's like the good scan speed. Two foot. I wish there was like a beam on this light so I could focus it. That's yeah, way too shallow. No, no, no tip. We just realized all the areas that have been searched, all the areas that we've searched, and decided to stretch out the radius. Some of the flashlights of their car. That? What? Do you have a phone I can use with a pick yeah. camera? Yeah. Because I can't. Take a picture of mine. Thank you. I think that's what that is, but oh, sorry. That's weird. It was like, I don't know. It's just weird that that's what that looks like. Like, it's just a shadow, but it's off of something. That's literally the only thing I've seen like that. Here, let me take a picture of it not zoomed in. Cause it looks the same. And I didn't mean to drop your phone.
would be in the debris field. I was running like 2.5, so it could have stretched whatever it is. Or not stretched. Like smudge it together, if that makes sense. Or no, it would be stretched because I'm going too slow. Trying to put us back where we were at, but... Like one point six foot. They want to know how old you are. Thirty one. Be thirty two very soon. Too soon. That would happen be dark time and no references to where we're at I should have hit the man overboard button which I think I went too scan too much now yeah let me know if there's any thing crazy sticking out Pretty close to the bank. Whenever I seen that, were we pretty close to the bank? Or no? Turn around because I know it was after I seen that bobber. Bobber is there. Try to go through here at the right speed just so see what that image looks like. There's the point.
Sorry, y'all. I haven't been paying attention to chat. I've been trying to pinpoint something. Thank you all very much for coming along. And thank you, everybody, for emailing and commenting tips and location ideas. Who's supposed to have storms? Oh. I feel like we were out further. What, when you took that picture? Yeah. Yeah. I remember we saw those. The bobber was farther out, I think, too. Like, it looked like it was further. I got side imaging full screen now, so that way if it's there. I know you saw those two. Uh, the, the trees? Probably about right here, I think, give or take. after the bobber. We're pretty close to that point, which means it would have been behind us. Cause I started scrolling and looking. I can go back and scroll back to what I just passed. If I had my active captain card in here, I could have it saved and then... Which it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like it's supposed to look but normally it's not like that normally it's stick figure-ish because it was a, a shadow is what it was either a shadow or an indentation I'm gonna go out for well maybe I'll do it one more time because it's not showing up at all I was also scanning too slow, technically. I feel like it was definitely a shadow because that's what the shadow the shadow I just seen off the tree we passed 
So it's a shadow, not a hole. Or at least looks like a shadow. I feel bad for Busby. Is he still there? I don't know. I just didn't see his car lights or nothing. done past it so I'm gonna comb through this real quick I think it was a tree branch On that side, there's like a, a tree and then a shelf next to it. And I think whenever we went by it at that speed, it uh, stretched it and like put it together. Made it look like something else. Yeah. Cause it's literally, you see like kind of a law, not a, not a tree per se, but like a limb, like a stick, like a big stick. And then you got like a small little shelf, which has a shadow. And then it was like, I think it pushed it together. Cause on that side it's separated. And then it, it has that circle that kind of puts it next to it. Yeah. So that's what it was. Plus, when you're looking for something, sometimes you see what you want yeah. to see. Because normally, the ones that I've seen, it looks like it's more of a, a stick figure drawing. Fish are jumping. Yep, that's exactly what it was. There's a shadow from the, the tree laying there and it stretched it. Yeah, it's a tree about like this and then on the back side there's a shadow. We took a picture of it. But I did two scans and then there's a tree and then like a little shelf that has a shadow or the tree or the shadow from the tree. It's like right by a little shelf. And when I say little shelf, cause we're only in like three foot of water. And then we're like going too slow. But I was trying not to hit stuff. So it smeared it or not smeared it. It stretched it cause I'm going too slow. I think I'm saying that right. Because if you're going too fast over an object, it'll like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It distorts the image if you're going too slow or too fast, or can.
legs go numb? Yeah, a little bit. Sorry. I have seats at home, but the way I have this set up, yeah. I'd be way up in the air. And the higher you are up in the air, the less st stable the boat is technically, because your weight's up. You can push that tire back if you want. I haven't ran the, or cut me a hole for the power cable yet. There's two tires. I don't know why, but for some reason in the deeper water, the image is like crystal clear. Like, there's like no question. At 3 a.m. Forge, if you want to remove people, ban people, or time them out, go ahead. I don't know what was said, but I seen the commotion. I just ban somebody. <laughs> Which I usually don't do, but everybody that's being respectful, thank you very much. This is about Sebastian and Sebastian only. We're trying to find him or rule out places that he is not, and that's all this is about. So if you don't 
you have something negative to say about a missing person or what we're doing, just leave, please. If I don't have time to look at chat and then run sonar and worry about people acting a fool. And 3AM Forge, thank you very much for doing what you're doing. I promise you I'll get more mods in here. Yeah, we got the uh, inflatable life jackets. So you can pull it or you can, uh, it'll go off when it hits the water. It's got a CO2 cartridge. Yeah, thank you 3AM Forge very, very much. I ever get shirts or anything or can help out in any way, I'll send you something or just get a hold of me on Facebook. I definitely want to do something for you for helping me. You, you don't have to do this by any means, but I truly appreciate it because it's hard to like vet people. I got a couple people I'm going to make mods. I just got to reach back out to them. Oh yeah, when I put this boat together, I tried to, this, I mean, it's got foam all on the sides. So down here in the floor, uh, there, there isn't any in the very front. Actually, there is foam in the front underneath the seat and then in the back. And then I've got the bilge pump. Shallower. I'm gonna try to hit that spot and then scan there as we're going back. It's kind of pushing stuff over the direction that we're at now. And I really want to scan that. Thank you all very, very much for keeping this as respectful as possible. I never understood. I never, never once in my life decided to get on my keyboard and think that someone was, or felt the need to say something bad. It's getting cold. Well, I found what I believe is the channel. The only problem with that is when it's 33 foot here and then it's 10 foot over there, you're going to miss what's in the 10 foot spot. But we already scanned that side. But. Like it'll kind of hit it, but whenever it does like something, I don't even know exactly what it does. I just know I've missed stuff before. I thought we had a big fire over there.
Yeah, but if I still had the inflated, well, we sure wouldn't be out here now. Right. The thing has no lights, no nothing. That's the bank. And then oh, the bank. That is the bottom. Went from 31 foot to 15 foot, just like that. Pretty good. Super bright. They should put lights on all their points, like a lighthouse. I'm freaking cold. I wasn't cold. Oh yeah, I'm def <clears throat> definitely staying tonight. We're searching tomorrow. Here comes that wind. Normally I'd shoot across the lake, but I don't know this place and all the stuff that's randomly sticking out. And it goes from 30 foot to 10 foot to 5 foot. Thank y'all very much for those that are respectful and kind. Whew. That's windy. Like it's not bad, it's just chilly. The other weekend it was like 80 or 90 degrees. Or it felt like it was 80 or 90. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just heading back slow. Normally, I'd go shooting across here, but I don't know this water. Yeah, if I knew the water, I'd we'd already be back at the boat ramp. But I didn't pay attention to the surrounding bodies of water because I was trying to follow the current and run sonar. Plus, we're in six foot of water, and I feel like we're almost in the middle of the lake. So.
turned off the sonar. Night goggles would be actually pretty cool. Yeah, the wind's moving the water pretty good, plus you got current. There was like a uh, wake coming from random places without a boat going by. I don't know if it's from the wind. Which, I've never been afraid in this boat yet. <laughs> but whenever I see the, the water coming up over almost over the front of the boat, a little, uh, Scary. Or sketchy, I should say. Hurricane. Let's not hit that pole this time. <laughs> it probably. It won't. like that like I didn't even see that that that's that's why we didn't go cruising across the lake because I just stick it like I couldn't even see that yeah that would be terrible this, we're probably in the shallow the most if I'm seeing that it's a pterodactyl stuff sticking out. And we're in the middle of the lake. Or river, lake, combination. Wow. I'm gonna pull up the transducer just in case I were to bottom it out. Yeah, sorry I got cold. I don't want to call it a sandbar, but the bottom over there, just, I could probably touch it with my hand. Thank you, 3 a.m. Forge. Wasn't there other stuff sticking out? <sighs> Farther down. I'm gonna 
put us on the other side of the dock since the, everything's blowing this way. It should be fun putting the boat back on the trailer. I can, I can tie it. Or if you want to get out first, or it don't matter. I'll step. There we You guys can kind of see me. Thank you all very much. I'm gonna start getting most of the electronics off the boat. Made it back to the boat dock, and then oh, here, I'll just do this. So the there's a current that's coming this way, and then plus the wind, so it's blowing everything against the dock, and then. My boat trailer, unfortunately, the the bunks, instead of being flat, they're up like this, which means you gotta back the trailer a lot farther into the water to get the boat on the trailer, which with this, anyway, so that, usually I'm able to, man, it's rocking, I don't even know where all the weight's coming from. Uh, Anyway, the boat shifted, was on top of the fender, all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna try to load it the best I can without the boat going all over the place. Y'all should have seen me in the Rock River. It was bad. It was a lot worse than this. And 
Mom, if you're watching, thanks for getting my 50 cent backpack. <laughs> well, this 50, a 50 cent backpack at a yard sale. Yeah. So I was basically able to condense down two backpacks into one. Oh, yeah. So I got the majority of the chargers and all that stuff. I love garage sales. Oh, yeah. I looked it up. It's like a. Oh, yeah. I want to say, if like I don't find anything, I just love it. $80 backpack. I can have the tags on and everything. Damn. Uh, she goes, anybody want a backpack? I was like, actually, because my zippers on mine are my old one. It would come open and stuff would fall out. And then the wake's gone. I don't know where it comes from. Cables, chargers, phone, backpack, get the hedgings off in a minute. Thank you guys and gals very, very much. I know it got dark on us, which when it got dark, if I had like really good lights, it's kind of hard like when you find something to get back to the vantage point that you were at. Or you don't have a vantage point is what I'm trying to say. Normally you see where you're at and you can go exactly to the spot you're at. I'm trying to flip this. So if you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, you'll know uh, started off without a boat we just dive and help people and then got an inflatable boat which is a blessing and a curse so it's not the little era boat it is a huge era boat compared to most of the inflatable boats y'all see so finally was able to get a john boat so i did the lighting on the front nav and then I took a, a box and a Dremel and then put my switch panel in there, sealed everything up, did some aluminum railing for the battery in, in the on the side and I always figured I could put the heavier bat battery in the center. But when I bought the boat, I even made the comment and I didn't really like, anyway, I made the comment, all oh, that transom is really solid. Got it home and I was like, okay, so all I gotta do is get my electronics how I want them. The transom was completely rotted out, so it took two whole weekends to do. It was a lot more money than what I thought I was going to have to spend. And then this motor, I actually flipped a boat. It went in the water. Luckily, it didn't hydrolock, but finally have a pretty solid setup for what it is. So I still miss the little trailer as far as having like places to change and stuff, but it makes searching a lot easier. But I just want to thank everybody for coming with us. Two step. We ruined their party. What were they doing? Uh, you know. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you all for coming. They're mad. Oh, they're going to the dark spot. Damn, we really pissed. They're going to the dark up. area. Yeah. So I want to thank Busby. I want to thank CJ. It's uh, CJ's Crime Concepts, which I think most of you all in chat know. And then Busby Adventure. Is it Adventure or Adventures? Adventures. Adventures. And it's Busby Adventures, which I mentioned before. Check those guys out. It definitely is a lot safer to have people with you. There's power in numbers, and it's a lot more relaxing just knowing that you have somebody with you just in case something were to happen and you never know who's who's going to show up so it, it was definitely more comforting I, I should say but thank you all very very much um covered a lot of area i only seen one thing that i thought 
I'm gonna rephrase that. So what I see normally whenever I see someone on sonar, it looks more of a stick figure. This was a shadow behind an object, but the object didn't look anything like a stick figure. But the shadow looked just like a solid picture of a person, if that makes sense. Just to be 100% honest. I don't like to like show you guys that stuff, but you know, as I see something, so luckily I wasn't showing the screen. Took a picture of it, just for reference, but it was a shadow. And then whenever we went back over it three times, two or three times, it was what appeared to be not a full-size tree, but part of like a log. And then there was a shelf next to it. And the speed I was going was a little bit too slow. And what it was doing, so whenever I finally got the, the right speed and the right image, it separated the two objects instead of putting them together to what outline what to me it looked like a person but it was not um the area that we covered there is no one here um there's still a lot of area i don't know if you guys can see out there or not here hold on a minute i mean there's still a great big area so you got boat ramp oh yeah 100 percent so the current is going this way and we scanned just because you just never know that <clears throat> i don't know if that's a uh, pretty sure it's private property over there but we started over here just it's kind of how i always do my searches even if it's on the opposite side of the current just how i do it just to get that coverage and then came out and i know i did i don't remember how many scans we did but i did more scanning than what i would have had to of scan to cover what I covered, if that makes sense, as far as the uh, the footage. Like I know I was hitting the bank on my scan and then all the way out, and not all the way out, but 30 foot, 40 foot. Did this multiple different times, came around this bend, which the problem with the bend was it got so shallow that I couldn't, and there's so much stuff sticking out, I couldn't safely run at three mile an hour the entire time. So it's not how I like to do a search. So you'll see a lot of like kind of like smudges and stuff if you replay the live stream. So that area, like the coves would be great if someone had like a remote controlled sonar boat, sonar boat or a kayak or something with a sonar. So that we're not worried about prop damage and hitting stuff. Cause there was like a lot of stuff in here. And then the bottom, now you can see it when we from 30 foot, I don't want to say five foot, but there's a lot of very shallow to very deep in different spots. But as far as following the current and then following the debris where you can see stuff along the banks and where you would, if something wasn't weighted down, where it could possibly be, those are the areas that I scanned the, the, my bet, the, the best of my capabilities. So, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say too. We all like I've come in behind people before and found cars and like, and I'm sure people will come behind me and found cars. And you can, it's one of those things you can search and have the perfect setup and just for whatever reason miss something. This is like a weird spot for people to turn around. So, in ideal conditions, like I started off with no prop wash, if I remember correctly. And then after, for whatever reason, I don't think it was because we hit the pole that's sticking up over there. Then I had a bunch of prop wash, which is weird because it was like all gone on the Mississippi the other day. So, and the, the reason for that. So, I don't know if you guys can see or not. Not me dropping the phone in the water. That's my transducer obviously sticking up now. But I pitch it down just a smidgen. So, it would be like this. So, whenever I'm throttling up and the boat rises like this so you can get away with that being off a little bit on side imaging on side imaging but on the uh, down imaging if your uh, angle is not right your down imaging will 100% be off and, you, and you'll notice it on down imaging but uh like I've had this before in the river running 20 mile an hour and I was still scanning uh, down imaging at 20 mile an hour like obviously everything I'm passing is way behind me for scan speed but uh, what I was trying to say is on this small of a John boat it's hard to find the happy medium because if I put the transducer too far this way to the side of the boat you get a lot of turbulence from the water 
so it'll be a, a worse image than if you put the transducer too close to the motor, which is the prop, because your prop spins this way to the right when you're going forward. So that prop wash is what you're seeing in the water column if you replay the live stream. And it's because technically, if you're getting prop wash, either A, the motor is too far down towards the boat. So see how the motor's kicked out? So when this is, uh, the transducer sticking out like this, parallel with the bottom of the water, there's a, uh, you have to have a clear line of sight across there. And if this is too far down, you won't be, it'll still show the left side of the boat, but it, you'll see, it'll have like a, uh, you'll see the, the bottom of the motor on the uh, side imaging. So finding that sweet spot, sometimes you don't know until you get it on there, but the prop wash was gone. And then for whatever reason today, it decided to come back. But just a little bit of background of everything going on. So if y'all know of any search ideas for Sebastian or it's one of those things I hate, like I truly do not like doing searches based off of like theory and speculation <sighs> just because like you have so much, like nothing to go off of other than maybe two different stories. So it's really hard to start pinpointing stuff. So that's why we're here. I know you guys don't exactly know where we're at, but it's outside the radius that everyone has been searching just enough. And that's the only thing I can come up with. So I know the area that's been searched close to the house and then branched out roughly five miles. As far as I know, I actually got to see a map of a bunch of areas that have been searched and it was really like unreal the amount of man hours, the amount of places that have been scanned, searched, uh, I, people, dogs, drones, you name it. I mean, it was a lot of man hours. And a lot of, a lot of unspoken heroes. Boots on the ground, people that don't want their names mentioned, people that don't want to be on camera. So we all talked. We're trying to come up with the game plan. So we actually have another spot that we wanted to check out. So I don't know if we're going to hit that tonight or not. So I kind of spent a lot of time talking and realized I was doing that. So I'm going to see you guys here. All right. Yeah, you'll get a show with the, uh, my this John boat. Yeah. My grandpa had a, a three hull 88 Ranger that would you could load like a dream. So I'll leave you guys here for a minute. Did more talk on what I wanted to do because we have another place we want to search. So I forgot all about that. Kind of got late. So we spent a lot more time here than what I thought. I also didn't think it was going to get as dark as what it did. It seemed like it, you get to do any searches and then before you know it, you run out of daylight. And then there's every time. I feel like when we do these searches and you don't find what you're looking for, like by all means, I would love to be able to say, you know, that he's out there alive but this far into it, no sightings, no contact, no nothing. It just does not look good. And by all means, if we clear, and so many other people out there, clear areas, that's great, but then it's, where is he? Why is my battery already going low? Uh, I don't know what I was trying to say. Anyway, it's just, you always feel like you run out of time. There's never enough daylight. Could have done more. And it just there's never enough time. Like you get to searching and then two hours goes by. You set stuff up and then an hour goes by. So just, I guess it's like frustrating or something. I don't know. But I love you all very much. Thank you for everyone that has came to the live stream. I don't really typically like to do live streams, but kind of getting there I know people like to actually see what's going on so I'm gonna leave you guys here I think a phone for some reason is a 15% actually you know what I'm gonna test something real quick. I have a battery I have yet I failed to use I probably should have used it so battery 
And then... Plug that in. And plug... Maybe. That in. Cool. Okay. So let's actually... Charging, I think. Yep, it's actually charging. So I'm gonna leave my bag and the camera here. <laughs> so, just to kind of get off the sad train, not to make anybody mad, but see the boat, how it's sitting there and it's locked to the dock. One day, me and Ronnie, brothers on water recovery, marked two cars, and we both got to gearing up, getting everything ready. And then all of a sudden I hear screaming. And I look up, and Ronnie's boat is going down the river with no one in it, and we had to go catch the boat. And there was no one around. So I'm always super paranoid about how I tie boats up because it's not a, a good feeling when you look up and your boat's going down the river. I'm gonna back in.
So that never happens that easy. I'll be 100% honest. A little bit, went a little bit smoother. I think it was actually easier not having the boat trailer too, too far in the water. So.
Are we going to the other spot tonight or are we going to do it tomorrow? Okay. All right, y'all. So the other spot, which likely, rightfully so, with it being dark, we'll be better off to do searches in the uh, daytime for sure. So we'll hit that spot and then a couple other locations and then for sure the Cumberland River. But even though this is this is the Cumberland, right? Part of it. Bonnie said it's where the Cumberland and something. So we'll be on the Cumberland tomorrow for sure, but there's been a couple other spots similar to this that we want to hit. But when we do the Cumberland, it's going to be Cumberland and Old Hickory, Cumberland and Old Hickory is where we were at. Uh, when we do the Cumberland, I'm going to get, exaggerate the current and all that, go way down and then scan up. Nice and slow. Um, work our way back up and go from there so it'd be busby cj and i for sure tomorrow um trying to think what else so not we're not going to search another spot tonight and get some rest and hit it early and i'm pretty sure he has a far drive but thank you all very much any comments, concerns, suggestions, search ideas, please comment below or comment in the lot. Well, I guess comment below after this is over or send me an email. Yeah, I'm a little tired. I worked to midnight last night and then came here. So 3 a.m. Forge, get a hold of me on Facebook. I'm going to hook you up with something. I don't know what it is, but thank you very much for being a great moderator. Could not have done it without you because I definitely can't control chat and be focused on that while we're out here. So everyone has been awesome. Love you all very much. Hey baby, I love you too. Um, I'm gonna get some rest. I hear Busby or somebody laughing. Uh, he's laughing. <laughs> Thanks Busby. Anyway. If anybody knows where Sebastian is, y'all should uh, just whoever I don't know come clean. That's just my opinion. Cause it's not look. I mean, I'm just a scuba diver. So I'll just throw that out there. But the amount of places that have been searched, um, and he's not showing up anywhere on camera or contact sightings, all that stuff, like real sightings. Like without a doubt in your mind, whether it was him or not, it just people don't vanish, and the amount of resources, people, drones, dogs, divers, sonar, police officers, fire. There have been so many people searching, and it's not. It's just not making sense, which. Yeah, 1-800-TBI-FIND. 1-800-TBI-FIND. If anybody has some real information or knows where this young man is, if he's alive, get him home. I don't know. I'm not going to go on a rant. I don't like to do it, but I'm just stating what I've seen as far as what has been searched. I mean, it is a lot, a lot of area. And you all know that, I and mean, it's public information. So, might be, yeah. And I don't know specifics on other searchers. Like, I know other people are searching. I can't say who those people are. I can't even say where because uh, it's not public property. Maybe one day, be able to. I don't have a gag order or anything like that, but I'm, I can't talk about it, especially if I want to keep helping these people. So, because if, who knows, they might need me in the future and I'm not gonna mess that up. So I love you all very much. Thank you all for coming along. Um, it's hard to camera talk and run sonar, operate the boat. I mean, I was literally tunnel vision on sonar and I hit a pole uh, and CJ probably got whiplash so 
thank you CJ for being a good sport <laughs> but we're gonna get out of here I love you all very much thank you very very much for tuning in and I'm serious if anybody knows where Sebastian is if he's alive do the right thing just do the right thing drop him off at a police station a fire department a hospital something and drive off but the young man needs returned home so which you all know that I don't need to say it I mean it's you would think it'd be just do the right thing I don't know I love you all very much hopefully everybody has a good night relax it's Saturday and I'm gonna get off here and we will see us tomorrow love y'all I'll see y'all in the water